What is up guys? Today is our second to last day here in Hoboken, New Jersey. And the place is a mess, but we're almost done packing. Gotta patch up a few holes in the wall. And then tomorrow we're gonna be moving to our new place. I don't know why, but I think this camera angle is kind of fire. A little dramatic. I'm trying to make the vlogs a little bit more cinematic and get back to like my video editing bag. But we're gonna be moving to the new place in Brooklyn tomorrow. It just feels like a dream come true, honestly. Like I'm kind of lost for words. Also, I haven't been too focused on just the idea of living in a much better apartment in Brooklyn. I'm um, just been focused on a move, to be honest. I use Dyson in more ways than I ever imagined. When I think of Dyson, I only think of like vacuuming, but when I use the other pieces, I can clean up the kitchen way faster. I can like make my desk a bit cleaner, less dusty. And then we're using this to seal up these bags to compress our clothes. Like, yo, you gotta get a Dyson. All right, so today is moving day. Um, it's funny because our lease isn't up till October 31st. So it's like we have two apartments. I'm working with Roadway. So I actually did a sponsored post for them on Instagram. This isn't sponsored, but for those of y'all who are in like the New York metro area, I definitely recommend moving with Roadway Moving because the customer service is the best I've experienced. For example, like we had more boxes than we anticipated and there's some furniture that we didn't include and they're like, hey, don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. We'll tape up some of your boxes, wrap up other things and put them in boxes and include additional boxes of furniture that wasn't included in the initial contract. up today is sunday and the place is obviously messy because we haven't unboxed everything because we literally moved not even like 24 hours ago um but it's also a little bit more together than i thought it would be and that's just because the movers were just excellent they did a good job of putting our boxes in like the appropriate rooms even though they didn't necessarily need to do that so that was clutch but yeah just acclimating to our new life here in brooklyn yesterday was kind of noisy it comes in spurts like on it's probably really echoey in here but it comes in spurts so since we live near like a hospital emergency hospital we hear the ambulance quite often mm. one thing i'm really excited about is just the food scene here like we had a solid food scene in new jersey but it's so much better here because everything is way closer um a lot of our favorite restaurants are in brooklyn anyways 
And on top of that, if we wanted to go to Manhattan, all we have to do is take the train and it's so fast. Like we literally can get all the way up to like 52nd Street in Midtown in like 15 minutes. We can get to Soho in like 20-ish minutes, a little less actually. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with my desk setup or actually where I'm gonna place it. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna keep it in this corner over here, if I'm gonna place it in front of the window or replace this mirror with the desk or just kind of just switch the two. Um, but once these boxes are all out of the way, I'll get a better idea for how big this room is, especially since we wanna have like a nice cozy vibe to it as well for when people come visit. This coffee was actually really good. I just wanted to talk briefly about what it's been like working for a major tech company my first like 90 days. Definitely gonna have to get used to the outside noise, but my videos after this are gonna have much better audio. I'm gonna be using my Shure mic, so you all don't have to worry about that in the coming videos. Working at a major tech company, I definitely noticed some differences. Um, for one, <laughs> I noticed that I need to be like more active on Slack and I guess using emojis, being more engaging on Slack. And that's just something that's taken time because the company I work at is so culturally different than where I was at before. And especially being like remote, I think it's really important to make sure that I'm interacting with my coworkers. I also noticed that when it comes to my job as a developer evangelist, I'm still very much a software engineer, especially when I have those hackathons where I'm supporting customers, where I'm doing a lot of like hand holding and I'm like basically helping them build a React app with one of our SDKs from scratch. So I have to be well versed in React for sure. Other thing I noticed is that when it comes to my role, obviously there's like that, I'd say probably depending on the week, like 50 to 75% of my job where everyone who's within this type of role kind of does the same thing in terms of like supporting customers, doing like some planning and working with like our events and project management team. But then there's the other 25% where you can spend time working on the things that you actually enjoy. For example, I really enjoy product, user experience, you know, front end development, and I've been able to still flex those skill sets to an extent with this role. So it's nice to not be put in this like box. And I've worked at other more traditional companies or not like major like innovative tech companies. I found it like pretty difficult when I'm trying to go outside of like the box that my role is in. Whereas at the company I'm at now, that's not the case at all. So basically people in the role that I'm in right now can look different based on what's important to you and what your skill sets are. Having team members dispersed across different time zones is obviously tricky in terms of meeting up with each other virtually, but it's also really cool because I get a chance to like pick their brain to see what it's like living in the UK or living in Berlin amongst like other places. And I also just get really excited about like visiting those places and meeting some of those team members in person. So that's one thing that's been like invaluable is having team members or being a part of a team and network of people who are across the world. Yeah, I think New York is one of the best places to work in tech. I honestly think it's past like the Bay Area and I think it's the best place personally. I'm thinking about doing a video, kind of like a docu-series of like why New York is a new Silicon Valley or something like that. This video a thumbs up if you would like to watch something like that. Also comment down below. I love interacting with you all. I'm gonna start pumping out more vlogs, especially living here in New York. But as always, have a blessed rest of your week. Thank you all for watching this video. I'll see you all soon. Peace. Lee and I decided to take the elevator up to the rooftop to get this skyline view of New York. This is incredible.